Hi everybody! Hello. It's Rosie McNozzy and Chris Crazy Keys. It's Rosie McNozzy and Chris Crazy Keys. Open the window and feel the nice breeze. It's Rosie McNozzy and Chris Crazy Keys. It's Rosie McNozzy and Chris Crazy Fun. How are you doing, Rosie? I'm doing okay, but I feel like I need a stretch. You need a stretch, okay. Should we do some stretching? Let's do some stretching. Because you remember, move, move it, it, make it, it, and music. Music. We love music. So, let's get our hands and let's stretch way up high to the ceiling. Take a deep breath, deep breath, and then breathe out. And stretch your hands way way down to the ground. Okay, I'm going to do it now. Ooh. And then breathe in. Up, 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 up. Breathe up. And breathe out and stretch your hands to the side as far as you go. Oh, feel those fingers. Wiggle your fingers all around. Now, make your arms go up and down. And let's do circles with our arms. Ooh. Big circles. Sometimes when you're sitting at a piano, it's That's hard to make for to do. big. Why you do that? Big circles. Well, I don't know. Now you put your shoulders way up to your ears. Now down. Can we make a funny face when we do that? Well, that would be more fun. Can you show me your funny face? I'll do it, and then you show me your funny face. Here you go. That would work. Now make your face good. Now, funny face, and then down. Now more let's... funny face, more funny face. Okay. And Did now you do a funny face? I saw some we very saw funny, funny faces. faces. Very funny faces. Should we do circles? And then when we do circles, let's make really funny faces as we're doing circles. Like this with Ooh. our shoulders. Make your faces go all Ooh. kinds of funny ways. That stretches your faces so that you can sing better too. Did you know that? Now, let's go like this a little bit. Swing back and forth. Oh, I know, there's another one we can do. We can take our hands on our hips and we can go all the way around. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, I like a bit of movement. Feels good. It's very good for our bodies. Now, you know what? I know a song we haven't sung yet before for exercise. Okay. Here's the hint. <gasps> you think you know what it is? I think I do. Do you know what it is? Tell us, what is that song? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, that's it. Start us up. One, two, three, four. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Woo! That's a good one. Do it again. Okay. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Well, that feels Ooh. good now. I feel warmed up. Okay. You're pretty good at those, at those funny faces, Chris. Thanks, Rosie. I appreciate you saying that. I just wanted to say, I thought you were really good at that. And when you play the piano... It's pretty good too. Oh, that makes me feel really good. It's nice of you to say such things. I I really like when you do exercises, and I like it when you make I like it when you make some cakes for us. Oh, that's really nice because you make you're really good at making cakes. Thank you. I really needed to hear that today. That's so nice. It's really, really, really nice. It makes me 
think of something I was reading in the Bible today. And it said, let me, let me get this out so I can read it again. It said, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. What That's, does it mean to encourage? What does that mean? Well, I was going to talk about that for a second. By the way, I want to tell you where that is in the Bible. 1 Thessalonians 5.11. That's the address. Some people would want to know that. Encourage. What do you think it means? That's why I asked you. Oh. <laughs> I think it was what you were doing just now. It's, it's where you... Well, courage. I know what courage means. It means to kind of have strength, doesn't it? It means to be brave. To be brave. So sometimes it's easy to get sad and feel lonely and feel like nothing you do is important and if you encourage somebody you say to them wow you're amazing you're good at doing that and that, that makes people when it says building people up it makes people go yeah i feel a bit bigger a bit stronger now because of what you've said like sometimes your mom she works very hard well she felt probably does, does. Yeah. and there's probably all kinds of things you don't even notice i bet she would feel so good if you said Mom, thank you so much for all you do for me. And you wash my clothes for me and you make food for me. You're so good at that. Oh my goodness, that would really encourage your mom. Or what would her dad like to hear? Um, I don't know. He probably really like to know that you that you love him very much and that you you is there anything you can do to help him? Really? Yeah. So there's another verse that was really cool we saw, and this is in Hebrews 10, verse 25. It says, let's see how inventive we can be huh. in encouraging love and helping out. So do you think it would encourage people if we helped out as well? I think so, because um, it means that you think that what they're doing is important and that you want to be part of it. All right. So maybe if... Somebody's putting plates on the table or setting the table, you could say, Hey, oh, can I help with that? Mm. It's another way of showing love, isn't it? Yes, and it's another way of encouraging. Mom, you do a very good job of that. Maybe I can help you. Sometimes you can dry dishes. Sometimes you can help even just get the broom out so she can sweep. Or you can sweep. Oh, yeah, because there's, uh, there's all kinds of sizes of brushes. I'm sure even the smallest person can do some brushing. I'm sure they can. So and There's lots of dust in Cyprus. There is a lot of dust in Cyprus. And probably some probably other Probably other countries too. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So, let's see how inventive we can be in encouraging and helping out. That's a cool verse, isn't it? And God, you know what? God likes encouraging us. And so, he loves it when his kids, when his children, are encouraging each other. Because he's always encouraging us. He says, good job, keep on going. You're doing a great job. Keep on going. I will help you. Keep on going. And he doesn't always just point out the bad things we do. He says, this is really good. This is really good. I'm going to help you get better. He's very good that way. So he loves it when his children are like that. Sometimes you just need a little encouragement, don't you? <laughs> Everyone
everyone needs a little encouragement. Everyone needs a lot. Totally. That made me feel encouraged already. And actually, it's going to be a hint about our challenge coming up in a few minutes. Ooh. It's going to have to do with a little bit of encouragement. But meanwhile, 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 I think it's time that we do the craft. Okay. So I need you to walk over here with your camera. Do, 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 do. Come with us. Mwah. A lips craft. Mwah. <laughs> what do we do with our lips? We can encourage people. We can kiss them sometimes. But we encourage people with our mouths. So that's what's going to be the thing today. So we're going to learn how to make this special thing. It's a good little selfie thing. And it's also good to play with. So what you need to do is you need a piece of paper. I'm just using scrap paper. Something someone already gave me. It was printed out and I don't need the paper for anything else. So you need to start by making three very soft lines. Well, maybe your mom can help you do that with a pencil. And then we're going to make a little shape like this. If you can't do this, just get your mom to help. And a shape like this. And then we're going to take a pink marker. We're going to color it in. Do that. It doesn't actually matter if you go over the lines because you're going to cut it out in a minute. Okay. Color it in, all pink. I just thought I'll do some pink, pink lips this time. It'd be a little different than the other ones I've made already. So you just color it all in. Now, mm, lots of color. Lots of color. Okay, there it is. Now we're gonna take. I think we're gonna take our red marker. We're just gonna follow this line around here. There we go. A little bit so it's nice and dark, and then. I'm taking my orange, I'm just going to go like this, just make a little bit, follow that line a little bit above there, and a little bit below there, mm. okay, and then a little bit on this side, a little bit on this side, and if you need help, you just ask for help, somebody will help you, and let me take the black here, and I'm going to outline everything in black, actually, you know what? I'm going to use a different marker that's a little bit thicker one. Yeah, a little thicker. It's very, a little bit easier. There we go. Outline that. Outline that. <laughs> it's looking like lips now. I know. And then do that. <clears throat> there we go. And scissors. Grab scissors. This is going to be fun. You know what? It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You can try again or get someone to help you. There we go. Nice set of lips. And I'm going to take a straw and I'm going to just tape it to the back. Now I had some tape sitting right here. I think somebody used it for, for some mics. So I'm just going to move it to get the tape over here. And oh, there it is. Yep. And I'm going to tape this to the back with a straw. And see what you're taping with that? Yeah, just tape the back to the, mm -hmm. the back, not to the front, to the back. You can just cut the tape off the edges or whatever. Mm. And then, tell me if I look funny. <laughs> yes, you look funny. That's good. So it's successful. So this is to remind us to encourage people. And also, sometimes you need to keep your mouth shut when you want to say something that's not kind. Sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut. It's mm. true. That's hard to do when you want to say something like, Hey, stop that! You really... You know, you say something awful to the you person. You stole my toys. Yes. Or if you were going to say something bad about the person, then maybe it's time to stop first and think. You don't want mm. to make them feel bad. You want to make them feel good. So that's a good thing to remember. I will take my lips off now. Anyway, you can make one of these at home. Hey, now, look. We each have one. <laughs> There's two. Maybe I should give one to Chris to use. So we got three things from Children Again this week. I'm going to show you, first of all, something that was sent in 
by the Vogue children. So they have some really, really cool little rainbow things they've done with really cool. leaves and petals. And it was things to say thank you to God for all he's done. And he's faithful. That means he never, never um, lets us down. He always keeps his promises. So that was from the Vogue children. Now somebody did an Easter hat. This is quite cool and creative. A very easy hat to make with just a piece of paper and a circle cut out of it. Out of it. And this is from Evie. So if Evie goes outside and she wears her hat, it will keep the sun out of her eyes. Mm -hmm. And we also have something from Jassar. We sent in some Easter egg pictures, which were really, really cool. Did you guys enjoy Easter? I had yes. a good time. Yes. We had... A lot of fun singing and we had a lot of fun hiding Easter eggs and remembering about Jesus rising from the dead, which was so cool. So much fun. And so we had a barbecue. We had we? a barbecue. And wasn't it wonderful? All the wonderful smells of people having barbecues. Oh, it makes me oh, so hungry. I'm so hungry right so now. nice. Okay, so please send in your stuff to Rosie Red Nosy at gmail.com okay what could they send in they can send in um photographs or scans of their art photos and um ideas ideas yeah or shout outs shout outs if people want us so to say fun. hi to them yeah or um, jokes jokes we haven't had any jokes from anybody yet Somebody's dad must have some jokes. I bet some of your dads have some pretty bad jokes. Those would be funny to send in. It'd be really funny. And actually, the other one is the challenge. What is the challenge this week, dear Chris? The challenge this week is to be extra encouraging to people in your family. And so see how many people you can encourage. And if you can take a picture of maybe a a card or something you give them to say that how much card, you love. A thank you card for things to tell people. Any nice kind things. of picture of something that you did to encourage somebody. How I thought it would be nice to draw a picture for somebody that you and give them like an encouragement picture. That would be awesome. Anything like that would be great. Okay, just so to tell them just how much you you think that they're special. That's right. So we're going to end the program with. Can we do this song? Yes. Unbelievable art because I think that song is really fun to sing. It will remind us to keep on being creative and also remind us about what God has done for us. So, so here we go. Oh, God makes unbelievable art. There's mountain flakes and rivers and oceans for a start. And there's a thousand others. I'm glad I am a part of God's most unbelievable art. My older sister Nora can paint a pretty face. My cousin Angelina can dance around the place. My little brother Monty can sing like old Baloo. Oh, we make art because we're like you. Oh, God makes unbelievable art. There's mountains, lakes, and rivers, and oceans for a start. And there's a thousand others. I'm glad I am a part of God's most unbelievable art. I'm taking out my paper and markers bright and new. I'll draw a lovely picture. I'll make it me and you. I'll add a happy sunshine and flowers red and blue. Yes, we make art because we're like you. Oh, God makes unbelievable art. There's mountains, lakes, and rivers, and oceans for a start. And there's a thousand others. I'm glad I am a part of God's most unbelievable art. Some people are so sporty, it seems like it's a breeze. And others can take numbers and add them up with ease. And every kind of person can be creative too. Yes, we make art because we're like you. Oh, God makes unbelievable art. There's mountains, lakes, and rivers, and oceans for a start. And there's a thousand others. I'm glad I am a part of God's most unbelievable art. Of God's most 